All right, the I call me. Today's story is Tubby the Tuba by Paul Tripp. Tubby the Tuba. Once upon a time, there was an orchestra, which was all busy tuning up. First, the oboe gave his A note to the strings, to the woodwinds, and to the brass. Up and around the scales they raced, halter skelter, faster and faster. All but Tubby the tuba, a fat little tuba, puffing away, but oh so slow. Oh, what lovely music, thought Tubby, and sighed. Here, what's the matter, said Peepo the piccolo. Oh, said Tubby, every time we do a new piece, you all get such pretty melodies to play, and I never, never a pretty melody. But, said Peepo, people never write melodies for tubas. It just isn't done. Oh, there's the conductor. Shh. The conductor wrapped his baton. Then the instruments began to play. First, the violins danced a lovely tune on their strings. Then they cried to the flute, catch. Got it, cried the flute. My turn tooted the trumpet, and the rest joined in, the cello, the oboe, the bassoon, while Tubby went oompa, oompa. Catch me, cried the little tune. Catch me. Got you, cried Tubby. Oh, you're sitting on me, said the little tune. Poor Tubby picked up the flat little tune and tried to squeeze it back into shape. Oh, you clumsy fool, snapped the violins. I'm sorry, Mr. Fiddle, said Tubby. Fiddle well, and the violins quivered with great indignation. We will please address us as violins. Fiddles indeed. Tubby said the conductor. Tubby, what is the matter? Please, sir, I thought I'll be so nice to dance with the pretty little tune instead of going oompa oompa all the time. Dance, laughed the violins. Dance? Well, really. The French horn quietly put his hand to the mouth and smiled. And the whole orchestra began to laugh. Stop it, cried the conductor. Stop it, I say. Tubby. Please, sir, said Tubby sadly. I wasn't laughing. Rehearsal was over. Tubby was walking home with Peepo the Piccolo. Please, Peepo, said Tubby. I just feel so bad. I don't think I want any company. I understood, said Peepo. Good night. Good night, said Tubby. The moon was out. Tubby went to the river and sat down on a log. He looked at himself in the water and he began to sing. Alone am I, me and I together. If I went away from me, how unhappy I would be. Me and I, oh my, sigh. The trees whispered in the wind. The waterfalls tinkled and an old hoot owl who hooted. Suddenly, a big bullfrog hopped out of the water and sat down beside Tubby. Ahem, coughed the frog. Buck up, good buck up, lovely evening. Buck up, I said, beautiful evening. Hello, buck up, hello, buck up, hello. But Tubby just sat. Oh well, said the frog. Oh well, if I'm not wanted. And he jumped back into the water. Oh, cried Tubby. Please, Mr. Frog, come back. I didn't mean to be impolite. Back hopped the frog. Well, that's all right, said the frog. I'm used to it. No one pays any attention to me either. Really, said Tubby. Why, of course. Every night I sit here and sing my heart out. But does anyone listen to me? No. Can you sing, asked Tubby. Can I sing, asked the frog. Listen. The frog started to sing a most beautiful melody. Well, that's lovely, said Tubby. You try it, said the frog. Well, thank you, said Tubby. And he began to play. Say, you're a fine tuba, said the frog. Tubby, you should try that melody with your orchestra sometime. Oh, I will, said Tubby. Goodbye, Mr. Frog. And off went Tubby as happy as happy could be. Hmm, said the frog. Most appreciative audience I've ever had. Fine musician, that tuba. Book up, book up. Lovely evening. Book up, book up. Good night. The next day, the orchestra was busy tuning up for the rehearsal and buzzing with excitement over the arrival of the great new conductor, Signor Pizzicato. Tubby practiced his oompa and smiled to himself. People of the piccolo caught his eye. Feeling better? Aha, uh -huh, winked Tubby. Here he comes, called the French horn. Here comes Signor Pizzicato. Signor Pizzicato bowed to the orchestra and raised his baton. All right, he said, begin. And Tubby began to play his own little melody. Oh, that wretched tuba, snapped the violins. He'll disgrace us. The trombone stuck out his tongue, and the trumpet snickered. Tubby, said Signor Pizzicato. Tubby, I've never heard a tuba play a melody before. Let's hear the rest of it. Oh, said Tubby, here's my chance. And he played with all his heart. Why, how perfectly wonderful, murmured the strings. Please, Tubby, may we sing your tune too? How about me, cried the xylophone. And me, said Trombone. May I, said the Celeste. Here I come, called Peepo. And they all played Tubby's melody. Well done. We've done it, haven't we, Tubby? It was the bullfrog sitting right beside him. We have our points too, don't we? 
And oh, thought Tubby, how happy I am. The end. And that was Tubby the Tuba by Paul Tripp. All right, Riley. All right, Colby. Hope you guys enjoyed the story. Love you lots. Can't wait to see you in a few weeks. Mwah. Bye.